X Vive U6. Let's check it out. The X Vive U6 compact wireless mic system is a new product from X Vive that features an all in one, completely wireless clip on transmitter. This tiny little transmitter features a built in studio quality omnidirectional condenser microphone, which means no matter how you position it on your clothing or how you rotate your head, you're going to get great sound. Also on the little transmitter is a dust covered USB charge port, an LED display, and a power button, which doubles as a channel select switch. More on that later. The transmitter also features a handy LED power indicator, which stays completely off from 100 to 30% charge, turns red from 29 to 11% charge, and flashes red at under 10% remaining charge. Now, since the U6 has that built-in condenser microphone, no more microphone cables means no more annoying cables snaking down your shirt. Speaking of your shirt, X5 gives you a few clever different ways to attach the transmitter to your clothing. Let's check those out now. The first option is to use the detachable clip, which comes included. We'll pop that on now. It just snaps onto the back, and there you have it. Now with that handy little clip, you can mount the U6 transmitter to different orientations, externally on your shirt, like so, or if you want it to be a little more discreet, you can flip it around or switch the side of the clip or mount it underneath your clothing for a more minimal or out of the way look. On the back of the transmitter, if you remove the clip, you'll see some hook and loop connectors, which work with corresponding hook and loop adhesive pieces, which I'll show you how to use next. With the clip removed from the U6, I'm gonna take one of the hook and loop adhesives and attach it to my clothing like so. And just like before, I can stick the U6 externally without the clip, or for a more out of the way look, I can stick it internally, making the transmitter virtually invisible. The other half of the device is an equally compact receiver, which can be mounted anywhere using the included clip, which also doubles as a camera shoe mount adapter. This device also rocks an LED display, a USB charge port, and a power button that doubles as the channel select switch. Unique to this device is the decibel pad button, which gives you the ability to reduce the input volume coming into the microphone by either 10 decibels or 20 decibels for recording loud signal sources. On the side of this device, there's also your standard 3.5 millimeter or eighth inch output jack which allows you to connect it to whatever device is recording your microphone signal, whether it be a DSLR, a camera, or your smartphone. Setting up the device is super easy. I'm gonna use my iPhone 13 running the ProTake camera app. We're gonna set that here. All you have to do is turn on both devices. We got the power button here. We'll hold that down until we see our lights. We're gonna come over here, hold down this power button, and we'll see our lights as well. Now, all you gotta do is make sure that they are on the same channel. So channel one, channel one, perfect. We'll set our little transmitter there. We're then gonna go ahead and grab our cable and plug it into the output. This is our TRS to TRS cable. And then we've gotta use the TRRS adapter for the smartphone and then a lightning adapter because it's an iPhone. So we'll go ahead and plug this into the phone. Once it's plugged into the phone, we're gonna go ahead and click on the meter to open up the audio settings. We'll go to the microphone, select external, close it out, go ahead and grab our transmitter and tap on that. You'll see the levels and it's working. Now that you have an idea of how the system works, let's take a look at what's inside the box. So here's the box and on the back we have a feature list as well as what's included. We'll pop this open and see what's inside. Once you remove the outer cover, you'll be greeted by the receiver, the removable clip and the transmitter. Here's our receiver, we'll set this aside. Our transmitter, which as you can see has the hook and loop attachments on the back. We'll go ahead and take that clip and we'll attach it to the rear as well. Just presses in and you're good to go. We'll set that aside. Underneath the tray is a nice, probably polyester pouch with all of your accessories inside. We'll pull those out. You've got a handy manual a dead cat style windscreen for the microphone, some little hook and loop adhesive attachment pieces for the back of your transmitter should you need to replace those, 15 large hook and loop attachment pieces for your clothing as I showed you earlier. These are pretty much intended to be disposable, that's why they give you 15. So if you hook them onto something maybe like a phone case or something that you're gonna hold onto for a while, they might last you, but if you're taking them on and off clothing, they're not gonna last you very long. That's why they give you a lot. But it's nice to see that there's a lot in there. 
You also get your USB dual charging Y cable. So this is really nice in that it's one USB plug to two micro USB, which allow you to connect them and you can charge both of them from one port at the same time. Also included are two different adapters. You have your eighth inch to eighth inch TRS cable. This is for just your DSLR camera or plugging into other devices such as that recorders. And then also a little adapter, which is your TRS female, which plugs into here. And then your TRRS connection for smartphones. If you're using an iPhone, you will need another connector here. Uh, this is your lightning connector to TRRS to TRS, which is a bit crazy with the dongles, but it does work and that's all that matters. All that's left is the pouch itself, and that's everything you get in the box. Now here's some of the great features that the U6 offers. 2.5 gigahertz true diversity wireless system, a 3.5 millimeter 1 8 inch TRS receiver output for DSLR camera or smartphone via included TRRS adapter, less than five milliseconds of latency, a dynamic range of about 100 decibels, three receiver output level settings, zero decibels, a 10 decibel pad, and a 20 decibel pad. The device also sports a solid RF connection with an over 90 foot range, high resolution 24 bit 48 kilohertz audio for studio quality sound, a built in omnidirectional microphone, up to four hours of battery life per charge, a low signal to noise ratio, about 100 decibels. The transmitter sports a frequency response of 80 hertz to 20 kilohertz and you can simultaneously broadcast on up to four channels, which means you can use up to four U6 devices in one ecosystem. As always, if you wanna take a look at the U6 for yourself, the link is in the description. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.